You're my sweet Jonathan. Oh, honey, your mommy and daddy are so, so happy to have you home from the hospital. I bet you're happy to be home, too. And you know what? Now that your liver is working properly again, honey, you're going to be as good as new in no time. You, you wait and see. And guess what? Your mommy and daddy, honey, we're going we're gonna to stay married. Because your daddy thinks that we may just have a future together after all. There's just one obstacle standing in the way of us being a family. And I've just about pushed that aside. It won't be long before Teresa, who Ethan thinks is cheating on him with another man, is out of my husband's life for good. One may legally still be my wife, but I've got to find resolution with Teresa one way or another. It's not like I'm betraying Gwen by calling Pilar because Gwen knows that I have to work through what's happened with Teresa. Uh, hello, Teresa. No, Pilar, it's not Teresa, it's Ethan. But I was hoping that you could tell me where Teresa is. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I can't really say, Ethan. Look, Pilar, I know that you know, okay? Just, just tell me where she is. I know things seem very confusing right now. But please don't give up on Teresa because she loves you beyond reason. How can you say that to me after she's already admitted to me that she was cheating on me with another man? Because she's willing to risk her life for you. What do you mean? Was Teresa in danger? <sighs> Pilar, answer me. Is Teresa in danger? Where's this burnt paper from? Looks like a page from my passport. Who would be stupid enough to uh, destroy their means of leaving Mexico? 